In this tutorial, we'll continue with this lighting setup, and we'll look at these five lights now at this point. This light doesn't matter back here. Since we've duplicated, I can just get rid of that one there in the scene. But So this is kind of just like broad-based lighting because it's there's nothing containing them. So we'll see what the difference is between these. And so I want to encase all of these inside a cylinder. And that way it can create a more like of a spot effect. Or you could make a parabolic shaped cylinder like I've shown in other tutorials. But we'll just keep it simple. But to align, maybe I want to align the cylinder to this object. Well, since they're skewed like this with their, with their rotation right now, that could be a little challenging. But it's not. Because what you can do is you just come over here. And I haven't actually, don't think I've actually mentioned this tool before. But some of you probably know it well is you just grab that particular object like this and you press Alt R and what that does that clears the rotation of that object. All right, You could use Alt S to clear the scaling and Alt G to clear the location but this is really powerful so I'll just click all these and press Alt R on all these like that and now, they've, now their orientation is back to how the rotation has come back to zero. In fact we can verify that press N over here and you'll see that it, they no longer have a rotation. Well, if I did Control Z, you could see that one has all those rotations. Well, you'd have to align your cylinder, get all that, forget that. So I just did Control Shift Z to bring that back. So now, for the individual objects, since I'm positioned there, what I want to do is I'll Shift S and put my cursor to the selected, then Shift A and go get a cylinder like this. We'll keep it fairly straightforward cylinder. I'll just scale it down a little bit, but I know it's positioned right on top of that spot now at that location. And so that really helps f for starters. I need to be a little bit bigger like that. And then uh, see I'll look at it on the local axis here. Let's see maybe oh actually make sure over here yep there it is. So there's on Y. Maybe I'll scale it on Y. Or on it's local Z I should say. So I scale it up a little bit like this. There's one thing I'm going to have to do though. So I'm going to have to come in here and come into edit mode and make sure I'm in uh, face select mode over here. Like that. I'm going to grab that face right there and I'm going to X and des delete only the face. Alright, so it's now it's an open spot on the bottom. Like that. And it's in encapsulated within it. So, let's just see how well it works. Well, Let's see how it is relative to the others. Maybe it's simple enough that I could probably just press this here. Let me go into wireframe mode over here. Press Z for wireframe mode. And I'll move this down. And there's that cylinder there. So you can see it's encapsulated around it like that. Well, just for, I'm just going to kind of eyeball the rest. But first thing I want to do is I'll leave edit mode. I'll take this. It's far enough inside the cylinder. Let me double check. Oh yeah, it's way up inside the cylinder. That's fine. I'll, I'll put it way back up in there like that. All right. So, but now I'm going to parent it to the cylinder. Control P. Parent to the object. So now when I move the cylinder around, the light moves around with it. Okay. So now I'm just going to go do the same thing. I'll move this one out of the way, and. Since th these are all individual objects now, this curve actually doesn't matter. I can just get rid of that curve, and it doesn't matter anymore. All right, so I'm going to look at this from above again in ortho mode, and I'm just going to wing this out real quick. I'm going to take this Shift D, and uh, let me see. I'm going to Shift Z at the same time, so I'm not moving it, and I'm just going to kind of do some quick cylinder fixes. Shift D, Shift Z. like that. So I'll just do those first three. And then I'll just, I always do, like to make these individual objects and materials just because, unless I intend for them to be all the same. Well, in this case, I, maybe I wouldn't do that in that case. Maybe I'd want those to all be the same outside color for the track light, for the spot. And then I would not make them individual. That way, if, if I had one color set on that one, I would change the same outside color of them all. It's only that interior light that I really wanted. But I will parent these to these two real quick. Alright, so now we have those. Those three are actually working as spots in the scene and the other three 
aren't really let's just get rid of these over here or let's just move these somewhere else I'll just move them off to a different layer for the moment M3 maybe but now I'll put it down here at uh, 13 I put my I tend to put my lights down here on this these set of lights here so now let's go look in the scene a little bit closer in okay so there's not so white like that and these don't have any colors associated with them all right so then in here let's go see if these spots are actually working a little bit better so let me grab each one move it over on I'll just move that on X a little bit yep move that on X a little bit all right so then they're acting more like regular spots inside the scene like that and then of course you can just grab all of them and since I have individual rotation center still set here I could just rotate those on X and then change my lighting like that mm -hmm. yep there are my three spots in the scene I must not have enough light in the scene let's just go get one of them 28 28 let's all just crank that one up all right oh and these I didn't have as individual colors so I'm gonna set those as give that an individual color yellow uh-huh and then this one here yep I'm gonna make that a separate and I'll make that one green all right so there we have our three lights lighting the scene now this lighting here you see how, how bright that is like that that's because I have that cranked way up so it doesn't need to be near as bright if you have really bright lights I found like that then you're gonna have to change your sampling I'm gonna make these like I'm gonna make these like 20 that might even be too bright let's see well so, to get rid of those lights actually I like these little light particles because they allow me to see what lights are doing but then to fix that you just need to go into your see my previews only at 15 let's just set that to 50 and see how much of a difference that makes just on that well even that's not enough but we could crank it up to say 200 and eventually if you if you want to have a really bright light in the scene like this you're just gonna have to run a whole lot of samples in order to bring it uh, to life because otherwise let's see go back to the light here if I go back to this light that's sitting at 20 let's make that like 5 on that one we're gonna make it 5 on all of them let's see make that 5 there's just those others were just way too bright in the scene and that one is yeah I believe that light is what's causing all the noise right there I'll make that five in the scene so there's the individual lights like that and then you can see when I first start off you can see them as specs but then they start uh, really kicking up so uh, some sometimes it's easier to have a small light and then you just don't have it as bright but we'll crank it up one more we'll make it we'll make these 10 now and see what happens Uh, it's getting a little bit better but all right but that's you know a matter of just experimenting on your own and seeing how that works but that probably gives you a pretty good idea and you can now really start doing cool cool stage lighting effects with that and then a, then maybe in a future lesson I'll work on doing one so you can get maybe misty effects and you know because if you have a lot of smoke in the room for instance and currently apparently notes doesn't support volume rendering but I'm sure I have a way to make it so it looks like you have smoke inside a you know a concert hall of some sort you know all right all right well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson